So for this problem, we're given an iterated integral, and it's supposed to represent a solid, S. And first off, we want to calculate the volume of that solid. So integral is already given to us. We're just integrating dV. So go ahead and start by integrating with respect to z. I just got a 1, so that's going to be z. And I'm evaluating z from 0 to y. Okay, so first I'm going to plug in a y for z, which is just y, <laughs> and then minus 0. So y is all I've got. Let's move down. Okay, now I'm ready to integrate with respect to y. So the integral of y is just going to be 1 half y squared. And I want to evaluate that from 0 to the square root of 4 minus x squared. dx. Okay. So when I plug in the square root of 4 minus x squared, I'm going to square it. And the square root and the square cancel each other out. So I have 1 half times 4 minus x squared. And then for y equals 0, that drops out. And now I'm left just integrating with respect to x. So this 1 half is really just a constant. I'm going to pull it out just to make it a little easier. Okay, so now we're looking to integrate 4 minus x squared. Uh, 4 becomes 4x, and x squared becomes 1 third x to the third. All right, keep that 1 half. So what? 4x, and I'm evaluating x from 0 to 2. From 0 to 2. Okay, so plug in a 2 everywhere I see an x. Keep my 1 half. Okay. So now I want to plug in a 0 everywhere I see an x, which doesn't really get me anything, because those terms are just going to be 0. So I'm looking at 1 half times 8 minus 8 thirds. So 4 minus 4 thirds, 8 thirds. So that's my volume. The next step is to project it into R2. So let me draw my xy plane. Now I just want to look at my xy bounds. So for x I've got from 0 to 2. So x equals 0, 2, x equals 2. Now let's look at y. So my lower bound for y is y equals 0, so the x-axis. And my upper bound for y is the square root of 4 minus x squared. So if I thought about rewriting that, I would look at it this way. Square both sides, right? Because I don't really want to deal with that square root. y equals 4 minus x squared. This looks pretty familiar, right? So I'm looking at a circle with radius 2. Now since I don't have the negative square root to go with it, I'm only looking at the hemisphere in the positive y direction. So like that. And since my radius is 2, that hemisphere and the line, ooh, half circle, I'm only in 2D, and the line x equals 2 intersect. So 
This is my projection into R2. So now let's use that to sketch our solid region. Okay. So my hemisphere goes x, y, z. So my hemisphere is in the negative and the positive x area, and only positive y. So it's going to look like. Imagine my negative x going this way. So it's going to look like that. And then I'm just going from z equals 0 to z equals 2. So, oh, what am I doing? z equals 0 to z equals y. So think about, this is my hemisphere, my semicircle on the xy plane. And then there's another one that kind of like sits up. So. This is a really bad drawing, but something like that. So that is my attempt at our solid region S. And now we've answered all three parts of the problem. Volume, projection, and drawing S. So we're finished.